The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club.
were good kids, real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see? Hello there. Hey folks, how we doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Blap, congratulations, you got the first. Cleepaw got the second. Welcome everyone, how we doing? I hope everyone is uh, doing really well. And yeah, we're chilling out with some cities tonight. Uh, yeah, starting at the bridge tonight. Uh, oh, and look at this, night time arriving just as we, uh, we come in here. Um, yeah, it's yet to fill this area out, but this asset, I love the bridge asset. It's really nice. I uh, hope I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm going pretty well. Thanks, Blap. Hope, same for you. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in, Ren, as well. And yeah, this, uh, the night scene in this city is, um, I'm loving it. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, always... Always good to be coming in on one of these, one of these nice scenes, looking across the water and stuff. Hey, so yeah, we'll um, we'll crack on here with um, with bits and pieces. And I think last time we kind of started the little uh, European area here uh, as a kind of follow-on from the plopped European area, uh, which yeah. I think I think when I plopped all of this down, I, I didn't have all of the buildings because I think some of these are they different? I don't know. They look slightly different to me. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I had more time, I would go into the theme mixer mod and uh, I would put. Uh, a lot of the Paris buildings and stuff into the the vanilla European theme, and then that would give us like more variation there. But we'll keep um we'll keep pushing the residential area out here because uh, even though we have zero uh what do they call it again zero demand uh, it still grows so. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's kind of linked to the industry stuff that we're building over here, which we will, of course, continue. Maybe it is. Uh, but yeah, we'll um, we'll carry on. And just try and keep pushing the population up a bit. Which will be good. And yeah, this, this filled in really well. Uh, we've got a little bit more industry demand. So we'll probably fill in this a little bit. 
It'd be good to have like a few larger buildings here too that you might see at a dock area like this. Uh, maybe even we put a couple more of of these in. Uh, because yeah, I think that would probably fit. And uh, well, I was just checking in here, like yeah, warehouses, stuff like that. I think we've used all the factories now. Yeah, we have. Uh, I mean, even like a sort facility might make a bit of sense here, right? So there's a few bits and pieces that we can put in here to make it look a bit more unique. Uh, but yeah, the one thing that I was thinking, like these big oil, uh, oil storage, uh, would fit, I would have thought quite well here. So I think we'll fill some of this out. And then I was also thinking we could start on the, um, the golf course. And yeah, I, we started this, uh, the hotel area, which I think is looking good, but we still need to do a bit more here. Uh, it's making us a tidy profit though. And, uh, yeah, now we're up into the 4 million, which is the most money we've had for a very long time in this city. <laughs> the budget finally seems to be somewhat balancing. I really don't know what was causing it to not balance. It's still a bit of a mystery. Uh, but yeah, why don't we start by connecting these up. Now, I think we have some odd terrain here. Oh, that's right. I did put the kind of ramp thing up here. So I suppose if we uh, just pop out of here. Uh, like so, I suppose. Is that, uh, that's not quite where I was hoping it would go. Yeah. And then we go straight up. I mean, keeping in mind that there's going to be a lot of trucks up and around here. I do note, though, that I've put that on the same level. Perhaps... Uh, perhaps I just need to flatten out a space here. Uh, could that be a separate road, maybe? Separate road just coming across. And then this one actually goes up to the top. Let's try that. Because, yeah. Why not? Let's make things look a bit interesting. Uh, but yeah, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's had a good day. Dream, hello. Jolly good day to you as well. I, I was thinking of playing Minecraft tonight, actually, the um, hardcore. Um, but as most of you probably know, we're doing hardcore tomorrow uh, with Quiche. So Shane, welcome in, welcome in. So I didn't want to double up on the mi on the Minecraft too much and uh Tilly welcome in Shane Tilly and Dream all arriving at the same time welcome in everyone hope you all are doing well uh so yeah I think um <laughs> you already know how your day was Cleefor and Tilly has arrived with the cheeseburgers Oh, you want to double up on the on the Minecraft? <laughs> I, I've been... I was tempted. I was tempted. Uh, I don't know. I want to try and keep things kind of varied, but... Uh, obviously... I mean, I enjoy all the games I play, so... To me, it doesn't make any difference, but... I do want to make sure everyone is enjoying... Uh, what's happening here as well. Uh, ooh, this is going a bit strangely. Weird angles on this key here. Uh, gonna be dropping back out for a short time as needs to be shopping before it gets too warm. No worries, Shane. Thanks for popping in. 
Uh, what's the? Is there a high temperature forecast over there for you guys today? Or oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, be proud of you, everyone. Uh, everyone, and we, you went to the doctor. Awesome. Did you get any any news, or maybe you don't want to share? Which is fair enough, of course. I think uh, I can make these right angles. Oh, like not right angles, but more sharper angles, can't I, with this? How do I do that? No. No. Ah, this, I think, right? Uh, it's due to be up at 23 today. Our forecast is currently 21. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh... Oh, Keish, welcome in. Show you the nearest cat. Let's see. Yeah, that looks much better, but that's a bit weird, though, isn't it? That texture. I still haven't done the command for um for the rarity of the cats. We have like a middle of the road rarity. It's a lacy. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Did I tell you you're only here for the cats? I think I just assumed that anyway, Keith. So I don't know if you told me or not, but yeah, I kind of already knew. <laughs> uh, clock inside though thinks it's 25. Are that starting to get a little too hot for me? Uh, yeah. Once it's put, once it's on twenty five, I find that a little bit offensive. Ah, there we go. Okay, that makes sense. I don't know who found that. Uh, whoops. I don't know who found that idea out of making these like ang like sharp angles like this, but I applaud them with vigor. I uh, had some bloods taken and. Be getting x-rays and ultrasounds next week and have uh, been told to take placebo osteo before bed. <laughs> Is that because you think it's a placebo or because they, they've actually told you it's a placebo? <laughs> oh, Black Cat's your favourite? Yeah, Lacey's a cutie, but Black Cat's in general are pretty awesome. Uh, currently six degrees and dropping, like, so cold down there. I'm going to die in the summer. I do every summer. I hate it. It's too hot. In fact, Tazzy, the more I think of Tazzy, the the more I think it's a good option. <laughs> uh, yeah. 20 uh How often does it get into the into the 20s down there, Keish? Right, let's try and break the game here as well. Oh, it has to be zero, right? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I don't need to be so careful about it. it just needs to be zero. Get into the twenties, <laughs> or it not be in the twenties? Is it easier to tell me when it's not in the twenties? Is it? <laughs> Uh, Panadol Osteo. Uh, okay, yeah, that doesn't sound... Oh, it's not straight? Oh, is it because I... Is it because I broke it with the... With the thing? Uh, 
I don't know why that... I suppose no one's going to see that. Okay, yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking that. So it just needs to come out just slightly. Summer is beautiful, 25 degrees, days on average. That'd be perfect. I would never leave Sydney. <laughs> Discussed this recently. Uh, can, is there some way, Keish, you can get the, that climate up here? Is there a way that you can do that for me? Everyone should leave Sydney. Is that because you want to be uh, left here? <laughs> no one else. Uh, winters, uh, you don't get days in 20s. Uh, I don't know that we... I mean, we, we get a few days in the 20s here, but it's been quite a cold winter here, I think, anyway. Which, it doesn't bother me I'm quite happy quite happy with that not everyone is happy with that though apparently hmm okay well I can turn this on now because uh, at least it's connected it doesn't have power though by the looks of it no uh, let's see, can we put, just put that there for now, and that will connect it. Uh, Walking Dead Sydney edition. No, you would not be in Sydney if you didn't have to be. Oh, okay, would you be back over in London? Uh, Sydney is the best city in the whole country. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. <laughs> I haven't been to every city, though, so I can't really... I can't really say that with all that much authority. Uh, no, Tassie is the best state in Australia by by far. Uh, green, friendly, pretty safe, and generally a general lovely place to be. Lived here. You've lived all over Australia and been all over the world. Um, Tas is still one of uh, still on your number one spot. Fair. That's fair. It's a short list. <laughs> There's not that many cities in uh, in Australia, really, is there? Uh, I don't know. I mean, what's considered a city? There must. There's probably an actual number, right? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Don't tell everybody, or we'll all move down there. <laughs> <laughs> have a moat and a dragon the unworthy won't get in <laughs> yes well I suppose number one is still number one it doesn't matter how many people are in the race right there was somewhere else I wanted to do this uh, oh was it here actually I think these would look heaps better if they were oh do we not have I oh, know this is a garbage for. S oh, we don't actually have. These are the processing complexes. We don't actually have the. The collection ones here, so they're coming from ages away. So we'll pop one of these in here. Uh, we might though. Do I want it on that road? Probably not. I mean, I think we just grid this out, right? I don't see why an industrial area wouldn't be wouldn't be gridded. I'm not going to connect. Oh, why is that happening? Oh, it made it into a bridge. Uh, I think it's density rather than total population. That could be true. That could be true. I don't know how they measure that though. Is that is that something that the census uh, the census might do? Maybe. Why are you snapping?
He grew up in Tavi Tassie, left 25 years ago, could never go back. Controversial, considering what Keish just said. <laughs> Controversial. Why you snap to there? Don't snap to there. Snap where I want you to snap. Oh, is it because this is locked still? Doing weird things? I think so. Oh, did I unlock it or relock it? I can't remember. Yeah, I think that was the problem. <laughs> I guess I'll relock those. I don't know if that really is a thing or not. Oh, well, all of that Streamlabs all at once. Believe it or not, I do have that set to not do that. <laughs> it's not meant to go all at once. I might have to look into why it's doing that. Uh, in Aussie terms, I think you just pick one per state and call it good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's probably true. Couldn't imagine living in a place where you didn't know uh, your neighbours uh, uh, or where your kids couldn't walk to s uh, safely walk to school or go to a park close to home. Kids can still ride their bikes around the street like you used to and can drive and merge whenever you want because there isn't a thousand angry drivers on the road. <laughs> fair, that's fair. There's only 998 Angry drivers in Tassie. <laughs> I want you to time out uh, Streamlabs. Yeah, time out Streamlabs for spamming. <laughs> How are you doing, Scoz? Hope you're doing well. Streamlabs is just being very, 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 very helpful, <laughs> apparently. Always honest, no matter the cost. That's true, Cleepore. But, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, so... I don't think anyone's going to hold anything against you. I mean, I can't, you know, obviously I don't want to speak for Keish, but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure she is happy for you to have your opinion. But yeah, I hope you're doing well, Scoz. Welcome in, welcome in. Let's get rid of this sand here. Uh, also have beach, mountains, country, and city all within an hour. Uh, but that hour isn't covering only 15 kilometers. I think maybe not quite an hour to the mountains, but pretty close. We have all of that in Sydney too. Have you ever lived in Sydney, Keish? Uh, it'd be pretty close to the to an hour to the Blue Mountains, I think. Country, yeah, you can get to the country in like areas like Richmond. I would consider that country. Oh, I didn't place that garbage thing down in the end, did I? I just started gridding out everything. So I didn't want to place it on the on the main road. But I get what you're saying. I, I understand. Depends where you are in Sydney, but yeah. Uh, most can hit at least the lower mountains within an hour. Yeah. Yeah, I guess if you were right up, up north, uh, you might struggle getting to the Blue Mountains in an hour, but yeah. Be pretty close, be pretty close. Okay, if those two, if these all, oh no, I was going to say if they link up, we should be right electricity wise, but we won't be. That's actually connected somehow, not sure how. Uh, we have everything in Sydney, including the famous pro streamer, Oz Cat Dad. Oz Cat Dad. Yeah, about that. <laughs> about the pro streamer thing. <laughs> 
Uh, no, but worked there occasionally. Your sister lives there. Okay, spent a lot of time in the Blue Mountains. Sydney is uh, your least favourite major city uh, in Oz. Love New South Wales, though, as a whole. Hmm. Well, rude. <laughs> like I was saying, you're entitled to your opinion, even if, in this case, it is wrong. <laughs> Is this... Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I can do it like this. That's heaps easier. Nice. Okay, that looks heaps better. Squared off like that. <laughs> Unless it's 9pm, then it's shut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these ones as well. Your family back in Tassie hate Sydney as well. Maybe, yeah, it, it might be just the difference between uh, the two. You know, I'd imagine there's quite a difference between the two places. Born and raised in Sydney and still hate it. Yeah, well, that's not unreasonable either. Oh, that's sand. That's not what I wanted to do. Whoops, now I'm breaking things. Oh, now I'm opening window menus and all sorts. Uh, undo that. Uh, but no, I'd love to go to Tassie and check it out one day. If I can ever get a, a holiday. There's a few places I still haven't been to. Adelaide's another one that I would like to go to. I've heard it's nice there. To be fair, I've heard mixed reports about Adelaide. Some people say it's really nice. Others say it's not that great. Uh, but yeah, there's a few places in Australia that I haven't been to that I would like to go to. Uh, Byron Bay is your second favourite place in Australia, although it has changed a lot in the last few years. Uh, just not a, si a big city lover. See, I don't know if you can uh, guess it from the game I'm playing, <laughs> but I do quite like cities. <laughs> I like other areas too, though. I'm I like um, I do like the you know countryside and all of the other areas too. So yeah. We are going to watch a Sixers match. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen. Byron is just Hemsworth spotting now. <laughs> wow, this is growing very quickly. Is this growing more? It doesn't appear to have grown. Uh, okay. The, I was looking at these actually, I'd, it's one case where I don't mind the fact that they've all got the same building, because this is clearly an uh, area that's been, you know, developed uh, very purposefully. So it kind of makes sense that they're all the same building here. I don't know why those haven't grown in though, that's strange. But, you know, that's how it is. Uh, you'd like to go to the moon, Tilly. That's, I mean, yeah, that would be interesting. I'm not sure that, yeah, I don't know how that would work, though. <laughs> oh, no, Celia, hello, welcome in, how are you? I uh, hope you're doing well. I said that about the Queensland trip, and uh, you made that happen, plus we got to meet Tilly. Yeah, we did meet Tilly IRL. Uh, which was amazing. Uh, yeah, let's put that there and then get some of those big oil things out. Uh, your dad took you each year for a week or two long surf trip to Byron Bay. Uh, it's such a gorgeous part of the world. It is a beautiful area up there. Just, yeah, everything up there is very, very, very lovely. Put 
these here. Uh, don't want them to import that though. I, I might have taken two. I should have paused when I do that. Was it you, Keish, that had been to Norfolk Island? Who was it that went to Norfolk Island heaps? I think it was you. Uh, in your dad's home, waiting for him to arrive. Nice. Nice. Are you getting in contact with NASA? Okay, cool. Well, yeah, we can all go then. That's right, you did the weed management. Yeah, that's one of my favourite places in the world. So, you, like, that's what I mean by, like, I, I do like the cities. I love the cities. Uh, New York City, when I went there, that was incredible. But, like, I also love places like Norfolk Island, <laughs> which is the complete opposite. Uh, you also lived in Wagga Wagga uh, as a small human. Ah, okay. Country. Very country. Uh, the Hobart trip will definitely happen. <laughs> you know how determined you are. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's only for a night or two anyway. Uh, it's already in the plan. Oh, I, I will say again that I haven't given approval for this. I've never said that I'm going. Hmm. Alright, let's get some services here, because I don't think we have anything... Oh, yeah, just as the building is on fire as well. Good timing. Uh, what's this? High capacity, 40 engines. Kind of seems like a little too much for that space. Uh, I don't know. Gotta, gotta play the game, though, I guess, don't you? We'll just go with that one, though. I've, I do would like to connect this road too because this road is going to get super busy. Uh, in fact, I might already put the. Didn't we get? Uh, we got the the four light. Yeah, this one. It's the one I want. Uh, hello. I can't. Oh, okay. That's attached to that, so I need to unlock it. Work will survive without us for two days. They coped last time. Mm. It's not just work, though. It's not just work. Just send all the cats to you, it'll be fine. <laughs> yes, this is much better. And apparently I need to relock that. Might spend three days in Germany on your way on your holiday in September. Very cool. Ah, come on, work. I went to, uh, a long time ago now, but I went to Munich. That was a beautiful, that's a beautiful city as well. <laughs> I told you I was taking three months off. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Is this 18 cats manageable? Take mine and Cleepaws. have a big house. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they, they won't necessarily... Uh, half of mine would hide almost entirely the whole time. Because they're... Uh, they don't like being... They wouldn't like being away from home, but <laughs> between Nicelia and um, and Ren, we've got it sorted. <laughs> yeah, 
excellent. Yeah, this industry is just growing in so, so quickly. Uh, uh, to be fair, the city has been crying out for, I think, let me check what we're actually... Uh, oh, okay, well, uh, I, I need that mod that turns off the... Uh, you can, there's a mod that turns off and shows you the graph properly. Interestingly, we're importing oil the most. Exporting agriculture. That makes sense because we've got that whole area over there that is, um, yeah, agriculture. Uh, oil and forestry. Okay. Uh, can we put a bit more oil over here then? So change that around a little bit. This oil is expensive. You don't want to be importing that if you don't have to. Uh, yeah, let's pop a few more of these ones down. By a few, I mean, let's make some money. And that's just destroyed all of our um, industrial demand. Thanks for the lurk, Ren. Enjoy. Okay. Uh, is this making us any money? Oh, it is, actually. It's even, despite that, making us quite a lot of money. So that's good. We need to decommission these. I might just delete them, huh? We're we getting refunds for this? I don't know how I feel about that. I suppose you would... You'd get some money back, right? What do we put here? Oh, is that just regular industry? Okay. I mean, we could repurpose this area for that as well, I suppose, couldn't we? So, um, yeah, there's just no oil left here anymore. I made the mistake of using game anarchy to make things slightly more realistic. And we ran out of oil within, like, 80 years or something. It generally takes a little longer than that to run out of oil from one of those deposits. What's the biggest money maker in this game? It's, it's got to be industries. It's got to be the unique factories, I think. Uh, so in, in the Industries tab, you've got this one here. We've built them all already. And yeah, so like Seafood Factory, Furniture, Bakery, there's a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, and once you, and as long as you're supplying that supply chain as well, uh, generally, I think that's got to be the, where the money is. Uh, because yeah. And I know at three point did I, how much were these each actually? Spent a whole lot of money there, didn't I? Twenty five thousand. Yeah, I guess I spent like two hundred thousand. We still seem to be again now we're losing money for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Because uh, I haven't really plopped anything that expensive down here. Although, how much were these? Reuse, recycle, yeah. Uh, that one, wasn't it? Yeah, they're only like 10,000 each. How much was the rubbish thing? 25? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Still not really much going on there. I'll just do that, just in case I forget about it. Uh, have we got... No, that's okay. It's just a couple of random death things. We do have, uh, some green 
things here, like all of these buildings, these are all green buildings, self-sufficient. So they have like solar and stuff like that, solar panels. And I think they accumulate less rubbish, use less electricity and all of that type of stuff. So we have gone green in some places and I think we've got some green policies as well. Oh, you can't see the policies because my large head is in the way. Uh, but yeah, we've got the recycling policy. Uh, what else? That's about it, is it? <laughs> uh, oh, we could have the recycle plastic policy. I don't... Uh, we've got a couple of recycling centres. Uh, encourage biking, so people are out of their car a little bit more. So that's, yeah, that's good. Thank you for the hydrate, Cleepor. We could have filter in. How much does this cost, though? Ooh, maybe not that one. If the budget was in a slightly better shape, I would use more of those, but <laughs> seem to struggle budget-wise at the moment. Ah, Nicelia, Discord link. I don't know uh, if if the mo if any of the mods are there. I I did give you all. Um, moderation access on the discord as well does that allow you to find that link i can't remember uh but if you're happy uh for me or one of the mods nicely to send that through to you via dm one of us will do that and thank you for joining the discord Oh, what's happening here? Oh, is it because this is emptying? Yeah, I might put another one of these here. And let's see. Let's kind of do it the same as this. So Cooper Finance... Ah. Oh. Is this not even listed in there? Valley Square, where's that? Uh, I can't even see Valley Square. I don't know if the mods are even there. Have they disappeared? <laughs> Uh, Park Heights. Oh, Valley Square's over there. Okay. Uh, you can get whispers from non-friends. Okay, cool. Let me, uh... to remember how to how to twitch <laughs> just making sure I'm sending it to the right person here yes okay I've just sent that to you Nicelia Thanks again. And I don't know if I've muted my uh, Discord or not. No, yeah, I have. <laughs> Down. Up. Down. All right. Thank you for the more energy, Shane. I appreciate that. I am slightly lacking energy tonight. Hello there. 
Jace, hello. Hello there indeed. Welcome in. Uh, Holly Square. Park Heights. Where's Park Heights? Going the wrong way. Park Heights. And I guess Valley Square, because that one, the other one was doing... Oh, well, actually, it's just finished emptying. Uh, we'll do it anyway, and then Spruce Park, I suppose. Spruce, there's not much going on in Spruce Park, so that should be okay. I'm in Discord. Excellent. Thanks again. You're fourth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who, who got... I can't remember who got the third now. I remember it going off. That oh, was Tilly. Yeah. Nice. Nice one. Oh, is this all still... Yeah, this is all still zoned here, too. That's interesting. That it hasn't... That hasn't grown in either. Seem to be stalling a little bit. So, I think if I keep zoning industry, that will help us. Uh, let's see, do we want, we probably have a warehouse here that has commercial goods, that will help us out. These are all making commercial goods. I reckon a massive one. Uh, hmm. Ooh, yeah, that one works well, doesn't it? And then we need to get the train in here somehow too. One to three are already claimed. Yeah, your dad's still not here. Was there a time you were meeting uh, Nicelia, or that wasn't... Are you just, like, surprising him? Tilly got it? Yes. Well done, Tilly. Balanced. I don't know. I don't know if these warehouses are actually... Can be imported. No, don't import them. Please. Uh, your new city is expanding quite well at the moment. Nice. Yeah, I saw the screenshot in there, Shane, in the Discord. Uh, it was looking pretty good. Almost 1pm and you need lunch. Yeah. I feel that. Okay, how we, uh, I don't know that I figured out how we were going to... I think that's where we finished, actually. How to get the train out of here. It's kind of a bit of a strange area. Gonna have to go up here as well to get over the road. Is that kind of going up anyway? Oh, it's the uh, it's the key, the quay that's causing that problem. Your dad isn't here either. He left for milk and cigarettes, and you haven't seen him since. Rough. Oh, that's quite a hill there. I forgot about that hill. Oh, there's another two since then, is there? Okay, I'll, have to, I'll check those out after stream for sure. Uh, this is quite a, a hilly area for a train. Uh, I cycled 15 kilometers to meet him in his home. Think he'll be back soon. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, you have cycled all that way. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. That could be rather annoying for you. Oof. 12.2. 4.8. I don't even know if that's quite high enough, even. Still. We seem to be bleeding money at the moment now. But once again, I don't know how that's happening. Considering, yeah, before we started the stream, it was... Oh, do we go straight into a tunnel here? Is that even possible to do that? In the space we have? If we go to... I'll just put that there. That can be lower. 
Oh, where's Dava when we're doing trains? It's his favourite thing. Uh, you just clean out the fridge for lunch, yeah. Fair, that's fair. <laughs> Alright, and then we go straight into a tunnel. What's that going to do? Is that going to break everything? Uh, kind of. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Streamlabs is spamming again, I see. To be fair, he has some nice food in there. Oh, he's sorted then. Don't worry about lunch. <laughs> uh. It'd be nice if it would just go straight in rather than going at such an angle, but I guess if we don't look too closely, we don't really notice. Uh, and the... Oh. Uh... Belt Beltron? Is that how I say that? Beltron? Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in. Welcome in. How is everyone doing? How was your stream? <laughs> Look at that muller. It's not... It's not quite a muller. It's not quite a muller, but welcome in, welcome in. Uh, I hope you're doing well. Uh, Madman, welcome in. Uh, Beltron themselves, welcome in. Uh, the Aussie Cheese, welcome in. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Breachy, welcome in. <laughs> you think it's a muller? It's, it's, it's is long on the top though. It's yeah, it is long on the top as well. So I'm not quite sure that it's a muller. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, how was your stream, uh, Beltron? How was your stream? Let me, uh, were you, you were streaming cities as well? Okay. Let me, uh, pop over here and just drop you a follow. And, uh, I encourage everyone else to do the same. Uh, yeah, what were you up to? What were you up to? It's not a mullet, but it's glorious IRL. Ah, <laughs> uh, Moolah. Moolah. I was uh, interpreting it wrong. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. That makes much more sense. Uh, but yeah, thanks again, uh, Beltron. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, I hope you had a great stream, and I hope everyone... Uh, Everyone enjoyed uh, Beltron's stream. Uh, your OBS wasn't closing. <laughs> OBS is causing problems for everyone these days, aren't they? <laughs> Isn't it, I should say. Um, but yeah, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow as well. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, what A stream was good. What were you up to? Are you uh, far along in your city or what's, uh, what's the situation? Uh, where's my cat? I have, I have many cats. Uh, I have nine in total. Oh, your dad's home finally, Nicelia. Does that mean it's lunchtime? Does that mean it's lunchtime? Oh, and actually, Madman, we're actually bleeding money right now. I keep, I'm losing money left, right, and center here. Uh, when we started the stream, I had like 4.5 million, I think it was, uh, and now... Yeah, you can see I haven't really spent that much money and it's gone down quite a ways. Uh, managing issues from like three streams ago. I can I can relate to that. <laughs> I can definitely relate to that. That's a great question, uh, Man Man. That's a great question. I haven't really figured that out yet. Uh, lunchtime later. Oh, thanks, Nicelia. Thanks for popping in and uh, hopefully we'll catch you soon. And uh, there are ads right now, which is kind I can... Let me... I'm going to snooze the ads because we've just got all these raiders come in. 
So I'll snooze the ads for five minutes. And I see that uh, Ren has just uh, redeemed show, show Me the Nearest Cat. So uh, everyone gets to see uh, that redeem. So generally, uh, whenever I'm streaming or whatever I'm doing, I've always got a cat within arm's reach. And at the moment... At the moment, I have two, but I'll, I'll find the nearest one. Happens to once again be Lacey. <laughs> the black one. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lace. So, yeah, you can see I didn't really need to move much to get her. Oh, you're on your first playthrough. Uh, so, up to like 75k population that's decent that's decent uh maybe the budget panel can help maybe uh, i've looked i've tried i've tried a lot uh i've done all sorts uh so yeah i mean i there's a lot that i spend a lot on but there's also there's also a lot of people in the city right so you kind of expect that it's gonna balance out so, your first playthrough, uh, Beltron, so you haven't been playing the game all that much. Oh, you got a lurk? No worries, no worries. Have your dinner. I appreciate the lurk, and thanks again for the raid. Uh, I really appreciate that as well. Not long, though. <laughs> okay. I love black cats, yeah. They ask for a cat, they get a cat. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know that the budget panel is all that helpful. Uh, there's... It's, I don't think it's any less typical of any other city this size, uh, to be fair. But that's the conundrum, right? I don't know why this city would be losing money. It, it was, like I said, in the last stream we had, it was actually going really well. It was uh, raking in money. Uh, and then all of a sudden it's just decided to stop. We, we put this one in, this hotel in, in the last stream. And that, uh, oh, Genfire! Hello, welcome in. How are you? <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Uh, and yeah, I don't know whether the, that hotel had anything to do with it or uh, or not, but yeah, this is this is raking in money, right? Eight k, eight k. And then that I would have thought that would be enough to keep us going, and it was. It, that's what got us up to like the four million mark. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know why all of a sudden it's changed. Uh, recognized, uh, my name in the recommended list, so come to lurk while you do kitchen stuff. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, I hang out in your streams a lot. I, I mostly lurk though. Um, so yeah, I hope you're doing well. Hope the Bob's doing well as well. Uh, but th again, thank you for the follow. I do, I do play Minecraft occasionally, <laughs> so... Hopefully, uh, you'll be on one time when, uh, when I'm playing Minecraft, but yeah, thanks again. I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, uh, the budget issue is an issue, <laughs> an ongoing issue. Both doing well. Good to hear it. Good to hear it. Now on, on, uh, your list, so you'll be able to see, yeah, that's, that's it. That's good. Good stuff. Again, I appreciate the follow, and I hope, yeah, glad everyone's doing well. Slack as well, of course. Uh, cheers for the stream. Made you want to load up and stream some cities so off, to, off you trotting. Okay, uh, thanks, Dream. Enjoy. Enjoy cities. Oh, he's recording with Foxy. Nice, nice. That's something to look forward to then. Uh, and to be honest, uh, if... Uh, if Ren, if you're still there, would you mind uh, giving Jen a shout out for me? Uh, Jen's an amazing uh, Minecraft creator. Uh, does some really, really cool stuff on on Truly Bedrock, which is uh, yeah, the Bedrock uh, Bedrock SMP, the Bedrock SMP. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if anyone's not following Jen, make sure you do. Um, and yeah, again, thanks for thanks for popping in and lurking, Jen. I appreciate it. Shane, thank you for the hydrate. This is becoming a problem now. Uh, 
with uh, not an easy resolution either, I don't think. I suppose we'll just uh, four lane it all the way up here. Oh, not in a tunnel though, not in a tunnel. Like so. Yeah, hopefully once we'll let this run, that will clear that up. These traffic lights here may be causing problems. I'm not even mad that this is not a dedicated turning lane. That could actually work quite well. Uh, putting me on the big screen, then you can hear from the kitchen. Oh, cool. Have you ever played cities or anything, Jen? Have you, or do you just mostly stick to Minecraft? I'm trying to remember if I've seen, uh, seen you play anything else on stream. Uh, this. Uh, does that need to be dedicated? I don't know. They all seem to be sticking to that lane, which is kind of annoying. So if they're going to do that, I'd rather they were sticking to the inside lane. Oh, thanks, Keish, for that. Uh, maybe we can make a ramp to connect directly to the destination. Yeah, I mean, well, actually, what we could do... Because this is traffic lights here, what we could do is a little sneaky bypass. That might work quite well. It is a bridge, though. It's already quite steep. The issue is they want to... I know what they're... Most of them are trying to just go in and around, right? Because I don't imagine anyone's... Oh, there's a few, actually. Okay. But, yeah, most of them are definitely coming in here, for sure. Uh, not yet. Mostly Minecraft creator. Uh, did do a bit of seven days and uh, ESO on stream. Uh, but it going back to Minecraft only. That's fair. That's fair. What works, works, right? Uh, if you're doing Minecraft well and your community's loving it, so go with it. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm not going to panic too much about this traffic because... Uh, oh, actually, maybe the other thing that might help here is uh, proper traffic lights, right? Uh, I mean, I should have really foreseen this because this is the only way in and out of here. And they're all generally wanting to go back over into the city, so... Maybe from the, the bridge directly to the port. Yeah. You've disabled all lights. They can fend for themselves. <laughs> but you know you can turn the day-night cycle off though, Ren. So you can just have it during the day only. <laughs> uh... This is just too many traffic lights all at once here. I think that's what's mainly causing the problem. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, a slightly more unique way here. What I might try actually is let's push uh, these guys directly up into this intersection but one way and then this is one way in I'm curious to see if that will help one less traffic light and I think this could be time traffic lights here as well I think that might help us <laughs> Let them suffer. <laughs> oh, poor I, Ren. I'm not surprised Ren's doing things like that. You're not very nice to Sims in general, sometimes. <laughs> Why don't you just turn the night, day, and night cycle off, though, Ren? What's um, what's the situ? Uh, what's happening to this truck? 
this truck seems to be in a little bit of strife. It is off. You meant no... Oh, no traffic lights. I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone go all the time. That I've noticed, though, that that can actually cause more problems. Uh, I, that's what I've found. Because they're all trying to go at the same time, and they all balk each other, and they all slow down heaps. Uh, that's just my experience. Let's make this time traffic lights as well. Uh, it does, but they're uh, on their own. <laughs> You're busy farming. <laughs> uh, I think... Oh, okay, yeah, fair. Well, actually, we're going to connect this up. Uh, let's do that so that they don't have to go around like that. Uh, what's our what's our height here? Uh, hmm, okay, let's bring this one up. And bring it to that one. Yeah, I, I used to do that a lot actually, Ren. I used to always uh, have them just turned off because I was like this is just uh, why did that not do what I wanted it to do this is just causing more problems than it's worth having the traffic lights but the vanilla traffic lights are rubbish that's why you need to get have you do you use uh, traffic manager Ren TMPE because the the time traffic lights on that mod are the way to go yeah, if you use the time traffic lights, and they've got, uh, now they have a, a setup, an auto type setup on them, or an auto mode setup. So if you go into TMPE, and then, yeah, time traffic lights, and see, control click will actually do a quick setup. So you, it's, even though it seems really complicated, it just like automatically uh, works. Having said that, this is not the best advertisement for these time traffic lights, because now it's all backed up. <laughs> Whereas before I put those in, it was actually not going too badly. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Can you go straight through for, uh, bridge to bridge? Like a bridge over the top of everything? I think that's kind of what um, Madman was suggesting, right? Like a bypass bridge. Uh, as most seems to be through traffic, you could help uh, them on big roads instead of going through the area. Yeah. Uh, bypass would kind of make sense. It's just, I don't know. And again, I'm not someone who goes for super realistic stuff, but it just seems like you wouldn't have a big bypass here. It's my fault for putting a whole bunch of uh, industry in a spot that only has one way in or out, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, I wasn't thinking ahead of the amount of traffic that uh, the industry does cause. Uh, we're eventually having stuff over here too, but uh, I wonder actually, where are they all going? What are they actually doing when they're leaving here? So they're going across the bridge, and they're just going out to all the commercial areas all over the place. Okay, they're going out there. See, if I could... Um oh, Cleepor, thank you for the gifted sub to Jen. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, and Jen, I hope you enjoy the emotes. Uh, yeah, if I can hook this train up, that might solve a few of these problems as well, right? Because if, the, if, if we can get the trucks off the road and into the... onto the train, that might go a long way to helping. Uh... Yeah, once again, uh, Cleeport, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. Bypass is the New South Wales <laughs> way. They do like a good bypass, don't they? <laughs> and a tunnel that no one uses. Or multiple tunnels that no one uses. Because the toll's too expensive. Uh, so yeah, we could have this train go off in two directions here.
I'm going to try the train first. If, if the train, I mean, the train is going to take a little while before it, it kind of, whether we see if it will work or not. Uh, but if the train works, I think that's a more reasonable uh, solution. Oh, you're struggling with the waste, huh? Can we fit another one of you in here somewhere? Not really. Uh, or are you just, your truck's getting caught up in this maybe. Yeah, that's probably what's happening. Okay, we'll leave that for now then. Uh, where is this train going to? That's the question. I suppose it goes to here, right? Which causes problems. Can you get away with the level crossing here? How busy is this road? Ah, uh, no, that's not going to work. Yeah, because whenever the train drops off, it's going to close this and then all of the trucks coming out are going to get stuck immediately. Uh, who built this road here anyway? <laughs> Ridiculous. Can we lift this up at all? Is that going to work? Some pro streamer guy, yeah. <laughs> How high? It's, that's becoming slightly unrealistic. By slightly, I mean a lot unrealistic. I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to try it. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Again, we're not going for, you know, the height of realism here. It's just... Sometimes you have to compromise and play the game a little bit. It's quite low. I guess if we start it tunneling straight away, because it's obviously it's going to have to tunnel, it's not going to be able to stay up there for very long, and then it's not really as much of a problem, potentially, maybe, I say, with a question mark. <laughs> Enjoy the emotes, Jen. <laughs> uh, probably needs to tunnel even before that, does it? Uh, I mean, it, it's unreasonably steep, but that's just because that's how it always is. Uh, and maybe if we, uh, if I would turn this into a ramp as well. Uh, like so. At least then we don't get the, the blue, the blue mantle. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it out and see how this goes. Uh, because, yeah, I think this will be very, very beneficial to us. And where are we going exactly? I, I would, I, I prefer not to tunnel like this, but uh, I wish I, we could have it over on the ground, especially with the bridge section, but I don't really see how that's possible at this point. Bit of lag there. Oh, 
Why is that happening? Tunnel. Oh. <laughs> Ruined it. Okay, we'll come. Is that just block the water entirely? Yes. Okay. I was going to say we'll come back and use move it in a sec, but I think that needs to be remedied immediately. Uh, in fact. Uh, yeah, we'll just grab. Uh, we need to be underground, of course. I don't really know. I, I think I can fix this actually without move it. That's probably a better way to do this. Uh, they're tunneling under the west for the new airport. Seems realistic to you, yeah. I mean, I don't see... I don't... Ugh. I don't see the tunnels being entirely unrealistic, necessarily. Because, especially when it comes to business, right? Like, all of these... All of these businesses here want this traffic to go away. And they're probably quite happy that something like this is going on and you know they're going to make money out of it so it's not totally unrealistic uh, and you wouldn't just be using it for this as well you'd probably end up having passenger trains uh, through here as well so yeah there's, there'd probably be a lot of people who'd be happy to see this, this tunnel put in there'd probably be a lot of people who would be unhappy the tunnel's going in as well but <laughs> Which is also a reasonable uh, point of view, I think. Okay. That is now connected. The traffic is horrendous. It is moving, though. I might even, because uh, they can, I did connect all of that. Oh no, I hadn't connected it yet. Okay, fair. I've, this looks terrible as well. I've got to fix that up in a sec. Uh, let's see. Let's just come up on the top of the hill. Why you take that away from me? Actually, no, we'll curve it. We'll curve it in. Uh, Sims do seem slightly more observant than Sims <laughs> who don't even know uh, why they have windows. <laughs> don't even know they have windows. Yeah, that's true. Sims uh, in The Sims 4 are not all that smart, are they? I don't know why this is destroying my life, though. <laughs> why? gonna look so terrible now look at that oh too far <laughs> like that kind of thing if I stretch this out is that gonna help us yeah I can only stretch it to there though because then it's hitting the road okay let's see if that at all helps uh, is this broken because that's not locked is that what happens here? Oh no, there's someone going in it. Click to lock this segment. Okay. Yeah, they're going in and out. This is them just all coming back, so... That's fine. Yeah, again, there's not many... I don't expect people to go around this way. The service vehicles are the only ones that... This is a long way to go to get back to there. Uh, it's really only service vehicles that are using that area. And I would imagine that anyone 
over here commercial wise are getting their industry from or getting their goods from over here uh, and this was purposely set up to feed into this area let's see is anyone using this oh look at that train is coming from over there in that direction I didn't notice how full it was. Oh, it's full. Okay. Owned by Cargo Harbour. Excellent. Ah, look at this. The dastardly plan is working. Uh, water jiggers. <laughs> Thank you for the water jiggers, Shane. Thank you for the water jiggers. And look, this traffic is clearing up here. This traffic will take a little bit of time because it's just... Uh, the trucks, I bet you they're all mostly coming back. Yeah, returning facility. Returning to facility. Returning to facility. Yep. So, th that's just, yeah, the chaos that was caused earlier. But there's less of a bank up here now, which is what we want to see. So, they're going off over to here, dropping the stuff off, and the train is quicker. I just need to fix this up, though, don't I? That is not looking good at the moment. Uh, let's try this tool. Uh, is that going to work, actually? That could... Ah, uh, kind of. It's, uh... Hmm, I think I need to lower it, because it's coming up again here. So it probably just needs to be lowered. Okay. Hmm. Just want the rail nodes. And if we just go down like this, I suppose. Yeah, and then I'll, uh, we'll use that slope tool again. I mean, not that we're ever really going to see this, but... I would rather it wasn't a roller coaster for the trains. <laughs> it's not Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, okay, so if we'll start there and... Go to, like, there, I suppose. And enter. <laughs> best game. I've never actually played it, believe it or not. Never played it. Is that is that bad? Does that make me a terrible person? <laughs> this line is getting longer, but... <laughs> yeah, look at this. This traffic going out has nearly completely gone. That could be because none of these facilities actually have any trucks to send out because they're all in a traffic queue over here, but... For now, let's hope that that's not the case. Okay, I'm happy with that plan. And these are all going out 100% full as well, which is amazing. Yeah, that worked very well. Ooh, are you... Oh, okay. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> That's hilarious. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> Surely it's easier just to get a truck to deliver it. <laughs> Is this doing the same? No, okay, that's exporting. <laughs> I mean, it's less trucks on the road, I suppose. <laughs> Shortest route, yeah. <laughs> Where are these all going now, I wonder? Oh. Where are you going? Oh, I can't click on it. Hmm, that's not ideal. Hmm. I suppose because the the thing is all the way over here, it's... it's. <laughs> I don't know why they send it to here. That makes no sense. But 
it's it's quicker for them to truck it in because that's the this is so far away. I don't think I can squeeze another one of those in anywhere here. What's what's down there? I mean this area here, like this is the the kind of dun uh, dingy area. We might be able to squeeze something in there, maybe. Looking forward to uh, seeing how the traffic behaves in City Skylines too. Yeah, well, the dev diary was quite promising in that regard. Seems like they've sorted a few things out AI-wise. Yeah, this area is pretty chockers. Uh, these are big facilities, and the the thing is as well getting the the rail down. That's the hard part in an area like this. Oh, da, how you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. How are you going? I sent you another DM, by the way, da. I don't know if you saw that or not yet. Uh, I was having... Uh, he just woke up. Maybe I shouldn't be talking to you too, about too much <laughs> while you're waking up. If you're anything like me, it, t it takes a little while. Oh, you haven't seen it. Yeah, I was, I'm just, I was having struggles with uh, the Twitch whispers. Uh, I'm not sure if you're on Discord or not. Um, but that might work better if you are. But there's no rush. <laughs> Let yourself wake up. Uh, I uh, I need the server anyway uh, tomorrow night, so um, it won't be available until uh, probably Sunday my time anyway. Uh, but yeah, when you get a chance. Uh, where where can this fit? I don't know that it can fit anywhere. Is it causing problems still? Man, this is still backed up all the way back back down there. I do feel like having a sneaky, uh, sneaky slip lane here might be the way. Oh, you do have Discord. Cool. Uh, gonna have your last, uh, big stream Sunday morning before the kids go back to school. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I haven't yet. You know what, uh, I, uh, realized that I don't actually have Toggle it enabled. I had it downloaded, but not enabled. <laughs> So, and then I only realized that when I had already uh, loaded up this city to that tonight. So I'll have to, I, I enabled it in Skive. So uh, next time I load the game, it will be, where, why are you going that way? Next time I load this city, it will be in, it will be in. And I'll be looking for that dark mode. That was so good. Dark mode. I like dark mode in everything. Uh, I suppose that's reasonable as well that they're doing that. I prefer. I mean, I can just not stop them turning right there. I might do that because it just takes them too long to do that turn. I mean, having said that, it is a light phase anyway. Does it really matter? Probably not. dark mode on discord i do is that a thing i'm so i just put everything into dark mode immediately these days so i don't even know if uh what i have is the normal mode or the dark mode it's just and i've got opera opera is in dark mode as well so <laughs> i just put everything immediately into dark mode okay let's put a slip lane in here and try this All right, let me um, let me copy that. Do you need uh? Discord has a new dark mode. It's beautiful. Is it um? Is it? I mean, I don't know what Opera does now. Does Opera? Does Opera just automatically? put things into dark mode uh, I don't 
I don't know how to Discord, to be honest. What am I doing here? I think I go here. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. What I might do, Dar, actually, is I'll, um... See if it'll let me whisper my Discord server link to you. Because I was having real troubles on mobile. It kept saying, uh, even the one I sent you, I don't know how I got that through in the end. Because, uh, yeah, it was. It wouldn't let me send any... Uh, I got that one through to you, and then it wouldn't let me send any others. And I was like, oh, what's going on here? Uh, hang on. Okay, I've just sent you uh, the link to my Discord, so uh, we'll be able to find each other that way. That's probably the easiest. Uh, you've always used the darker theme in Discord. It looks so good. Uh, activated in your phone, and it's synced to your desktop. Right, 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 right. Have an issue with uh, Java, Minecraft, your mouse cursor doesn't show up. Uh, the, the server is bedrock, so maybe that, maybe that's a good thing. But keep that in mind that the server is a bedrock server. So that will be, uh, things are slightly different, right? Slope. Uh, and then let's, oh, there's a node there. Oh, got snapping on. Still can't play Java. Well, that's fine. You don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> you can play Bedrock. But no, I know. I like playing both, too, these days. The hardcore. Is there... So you cur your, ma your cursor... You mean your mouse doesn't, like... It's like Minecraft isn't recognising your mouse or something? Is that what you mean? Because, I mean, I guess technically there's no cursor unless you're in one of the menus... Uh, what's, what am I doing here? I want this sloped as well. This node. Oh, it is sloped? Ooh. It's not an ideal spot to have a, a slip lane, is it, really? In, the, in this game, anyway. Yeah, this doesn't need to be, uh, traffic lights here, either. Don't go that way. So only go to there or there, and then you guys can only go to there. Uh, if it doesn't let me know, uh, as yeah, I think that one went through. It hasn't told me that it hasn't, but yeah, you can, uh, Da will be able to confirm. You got it. Okay, cool. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. That way, these folks who are turning here can only, those ones can go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, it's recognizing it, but you can't see where you're clicking. Ah, okay. That's strange. Oh, hey, Pat. Welcome in. Welcome in. No beavers tonight. No, no beavers in, uh, in cities, unfortunately. Why are all these people doing this? They're just like going round and round in circles here. You can still turn in that way to go in there. I just don't want them, s like, using the slip lane as a shortcut, basically. And then blocking everyone from going through. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're doing well, uh, Pat. I'm just trying to think, uh, da, if I've seen that. I've seen uh, people have problems 
with their mouse like not clicking where they expect it to click but I don't think I've ever seen it in that you can't kind of see where you're clicking that seems to be a new one I assume you've uh, tried all of the usual stuff like googling it and stuff uh, what happened to your paw print? Did you sub expire? I think uh, it, that might be the case, yes. <laughs> and reinstalled it and everything. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That's a strange one. Yeah, the trucks are just struggling to get back, but that's why I was trying to kind of minimize how many trucks needed to go out in the first place. I thought that might help, but uh, you can queue through there. That's fine. Can't resub until the 16th. Aw. Oh. That's fine. There's no requirement for people to be subbed here. I appreciate you hanging out. That's, that's the main thing. I wish... Yeah, I don't know if I... How many of them are going forward like that? Most of them are going left. I'd rather they turned around and went this way so they're not clogging out that intersection there. I think I'm going to have to tell them they can't turn there. So you can only go here. I, I mean, I guess you can go there too. But no one will be going that way for a little while though. You don't have any, like, mouse drivers that need updating or anything like that, do you, Da? Saw that the sequel to this uh, game got announced. I bet you must be excited to play that. 100%. Already pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition. Counting down to... In fact, we've got a clock in this city over here that tells us how long we have until City Skylines 2 launches. 74 uh, days, 4 hours, 13 minutes and 51 seconds. Ban the right turn. Uh, oh, you do have a uh, mouse update required? Uh, ban the right turn here you mean I what I want I, what I don't want though is I don't want the garbage trucks and other trucks going into this slip lane and clogging it up so the right turn is banned but they can't go forward so they can just go in and around like that uh, so that will stop them from yeah but these guys I don't want them turning left into here but yeah, I'm hoping... I mean, we've got... We just added the train line that seems to be helping a little bit. Can't you set primary truck route? No, nothing like that in this game. They will go back and around this way now. This this road is a slower road, so that's probably why they were choosing. Uh, but yeah, it honestly could be... Could be at least 40, really. It, it certainly would be a longer route, though, going out and around like that. But I can force them to go certain ways. Oh, is this guy going to do a Yui up here now, is he? Where are you going? Yes. Apparently, it's quicker for them to go all the way out to here, do a Yui, and come back. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Uh, maybe you'll buy it in Octo on October 24. Is there any form of multiplayer like uh, your city can interact with yours? There's no uh, mention of that so far. There's no mention of that so far. And I I feel like they would have mentioned that by now if there was. Uh, because they're releasing dev diaries every week and they're releasing all sorts of information on it all the time. Oh, this is clearing up already. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, this is a bit full again though
Uh, get a temp job as a game reviewer press <laughs> and you can shorten down that waiting time by at least two weeks. How you doing, Super? I hope you're doing well. Uh, allow them to go straight. Yeah, I just, I don't, this ramp is so busy. I just, I didn't really want them clogging it up. They're still, they're going out here and doing U-turns now. Uh, if I just extend this road out a little further, that might stop them from doing that. It's mainly the ones, uh, it's just this intersection is a nightmare. It probably needs like an interchange, really, because it is a pretty large, uh, road. But, yeah, where am I going with this? Heavy, uh, you can, if you use a heavy traffic ban, that's true, yeah, that, that's kind of like a truck route, isn't it? Uh, they left in, uh, they left in open when discussing it. Oh, did they? So, it's not necessarily confirmed that there isn't multiplayer, per se. It's very interesting. If we just bring this so far out that it, it doesn't make sense, like, oh, why? <laughs> I don't like this. I have to, I have to delete it. Uh, they all started doing UEs, <laughs> UEs, that's a great word. I had to look at that as soon as, uh, banned the turn, yeah. Oh, Cleepor, thank you for the gifted sub to Jace. Don't need to wait till the 16th now. Alright, that'll do. I mean, I, uh, that road might change anyway, so... Hopefully now they won't want to do UEs down there, though. <laughs> Definitely not at launch. Yeah, that... 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 Might be the case as well, right? Maybe there'll be a DLC for it. <laughs> uh, if there is multiplayer, you'll make a... Make Trash City. Uh, you can have... Uh, your lovely beautiful city and ship all your trash to mine uh, and pay exorbitant rates with the way my economy is I won't be able to afford that <laughs> we've lost a million in this stream alone and I haven't really built much uh, I don't know why I'm losing so much money You're getting political AF of and uh, if and when multiplayer gets added <laughs> You scratch my back, I scratch yours type of situation. <laughs> you could certainly play like the Mayor Quimby uh, equivalent, couldn't you? It, with that type of situation. Where it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll help your city if uh, if I get a statue in mine. In, 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 I'll help your city if you put a statue of mine in your city. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. This is clearing up though. This is not looking too bad now. I think the train line, together with a few tweaks here, has helped. So yeah, these trucks are being forced to go out this way now. Oh, they're just doing UEs here now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they love a good UE, don't they? Is that what's happening? Oh no, they're just doing UEs to get back into the facility. Which is kind of weird as well, I don't know why they can't just turn across the road. Yeah, they're UEing all over the place. Okay. Well, adding more industry here could be problematic <laughs> given the traffic situation. What I would like to do though is put another train link. Oh, was that train stuck there? 
Oh no, it's moving. Uh, yeah, put another train link over to this area. Ooh, what's happening? What's going on? 72. Why are they all struggling? Is it just those four though? Maybe that's okay. Yeah, no, I think that's just a, a bit of a blip. Uh, I really need to learn the best uh, traffic ways. Your traffic management is terrible. Yeah, well, I mean, this uh, this was a very good example of how poor planning can cause problems with traffic. Because uh, I kind of because I haven't had any traffic issues in this city for so long, I kind of forgot that traffic existed <laughs> so I ended up building something that was really quite bad traffic management wise mainly because it's only got one entry and exit that's the biggest problem this is dealing with all of the traffic on this whole area and then it's also accompanied by this intersection here as well which is also causing yeah a lot of backup so I think, we'll f yeah, like no one's wanting to turn left, right? So they're all doing the same thing. They're all literally going to the same place. And they, they're they forced to use the same intersection to do it. Uh, so that's the type of thing you want to avoid. I do, yes. I play with despawning turned off. So it's hard mode, as they call it. No despawning, hard mode, bigger traffic jams. <laughs> Uh, mainly, and that's a part, I mean, I enjoy the challenge, but it's also because the city is so sprawling, right? Like, if I had, uh, I have had to adjust things because of it, but, uh, with this, such a sprawled city like this, you know, if something's calling over here for over here, and then by the time it would get there, it'd be despawned, and, yeah, it causes problems if you have it turned on in the city that's as big as this, <laughs> Unicorn Island, yes. <laughs> There's the famous Unicorn Island again. <laughs> uh, that's one of the reasons. But I do just enjoy the challenge of having it turned off anyway. And uh, yeah, it makes makes things a little bit, a little bit more challenging, which I quite like. But yeah, just haven't had any problems with this uh, traffic in this city for ages. Uh, so yeah, are these... I think they're just all going into the city, aren't they? Yeah. Let's just check this road. Some of them are going down that way. Because these ones are coming, they're returning, so they've obviously sent trucks out this way. So I think getting a train up in this area would be good as well. Where's uh, our stations here? So we've got this one here. Yeah, I mean, this has got good access to the highway, so we could bring our train in here. And then we could split it off in both directions, really, couldn't we? Export out there. Import here as well. So much for the golf course. I was going to try and get to the golf course, but the traffic... The traffic got in the way. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see. What do we do here? So I do want it to come up over here. So I guess it just makes sense to follow the road. It's not ideal. Uh, I don't want it to tunnel all that way. That doesn't make sense. Oh, cool, Dar. I'll, um, I'll hit you up after the stream and let you know what's going on. But yeah, uh, it will be a slight delay anyway, just because I need the server for something else. The, the, ser the actual server that I play on the Bedrock one isn't live at the moment. Uh, it's got a Java server sitting on it for another reason, so... But uh, yeah, I'll let you know what's going on. Uh, citizenship should be honoured. Uh, you can't fold them out like, <laughs> like your poor beaver citizens, yeah. <laughs> The beavers have it rough sometimes, don't they? Uh, 
Okay, let's do let's do that, and then we'll pop up above. Oh, 20. I didn't realize we were so low there. 12. It's a big bump in the road there. Is that a bump or is it? I guess it's. I don't know. <laughs> Let's use this tool up here to fix. See if that needs fixing. Yeah. Much better. Much better. I mean, it looks weirder, but I think it seems to be better. <laughs> Okay, we'll go up to 12, and then we'll come up. That's weird because of the terrain there. I thought it was going to be the same height as... Oh, that's a weird little segment there as well. Whoa, what was going on there? It's like three segments there all together doing like weird little segments like that fighting the drift claypaw oh man it's done some weird things there it's only just 10 claypaw is it going to break things if I remove this node here no, it's happy with that. Usually it screams at me when I remove nodes like that. Yeah, let's just move all this back. Hopefully that will look a bit more normal. Kind of, not really though. <laughs> this needs to be lowered, I think. We don't have a day off this weekend. Yeah. That's true. Okay, nice. That's all in the green. That's what we like to see. And then... Actually, I've just realized... Oh no, that will work. Okay. Uh, well, I'll probably parallel tool mo mo uh, mod this, right? Oh, is there another intersection there? Is it just too far? <laughs> Maybe Irene will cover for us, yeah. Likely. Uh, okay, I have to remember how to do this again. So minus, no, equals. So we go to about there. I uh, asked a question about something you just noticed in my About Me section. Yeah? Huh. That made it bridging in some places. I mean, I don't necessarily hate that, actually. Uh, that's the um, acknowledgement of the indigenous folks uh, of Australia. Australia. So it's something that uh, is 
becoming more and more prevalent in uh, Australia given the fact that uh, people are trying to acknowledge what happened to the indigenous people in Australia when uh, Australia was first discovered, right, or invaded, as some people say. Uh, so a lot of the time, you know, especially if you go to things like, um, things like events and things like that, they'll do a welcome to country, uh, which is basically the indigenous people welcoming you to what is their land. Uh, so you'll see, uh, there where I say as a non, non-indigenous inhabitant, uh, of the land, um, that's what the white folks would, or should consider themselves and the indigenous folks are the ones who you know it's their land really although as you know as they say it's it's we're all part of the land not just they are part of the land we are all part of the land and the land is part of us so yeah it's basically just to recognize the indigenous uh uh indigenous uh, people of the of australia yeah, if you've got one handy, Ren, that would be, that would be, because I don't know that I'm explaining it very well, but yes, the, the colonizers, uh, aka England, <laughs> invaded this country, uh, and they, they effectively stole the land from the indigenous people, so, really hope, uh, it didn't make things weird, it's just, no, no, not at all, I don't have any problems chatting about it, uh, it's, and it's not something that everyone uh, would want to do or would like to do, but I feel um, I feel that I wanted to do it uh, because I think it's important that we do recognise what's happened in the past and uh, and like as as a general you know as the human race we should learn from it. Uh, so that's why I put it there um, because it's and it, this type of conversation is important to have. Uh, in my opinion, to make sure that everyone understands uh, what has happened in the past and how we can better the way we do things in the future. So the, the Eora people, or the Eora land, is the whole of Sydney as well. So don't worry, I'm not doxing myself. E Eora people uh, were right throughout uh, what we would now refer to as Greater Sydney. Uh, it's fairly new to you and uh, you're Australian too. I mean, to be fair, um, the welcome to country and all of that type of stuff is, is relatively new. It's, uh, it's, something that's becoming more and more prevalent, which is a good thing. Us white people stole their land. Indeed we did. Uh, we invaded their country. Yeah. Uh, as you know, you have a few Aussie friends, but that's the first you've seen uh, that. Yeah, it's generally something that you hear more often here in, like when you're, like I said, when you're attending events and stuff like that, they'll quite regularly do a welcome to country where they'll say similar stuff to what is in there. Uh, but it's more like saying, you know, welcome to our land. And it's usually an indigenous person that will, will run the welcome to country. Uh, there are ways that it can be said by a non-indigenous person as well, uh, similar to how I've said it. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's certainly, you don't see it written down as much as you hear it spoken in Australia. It's not really like a Pledge of Allegiance, not really, no. Uh, it, it's more about recognizing uh, the inequalities that happened and the, in some cases, the horrendous atrocities that happened to the people back in uh, the time when uh, this country was invaded by the British colony. Uh, what continues to happen in, in present uh, to a certain degree. Yeah, there are huge inequalities between the indigenous community in Australia and the the white uh, community or the whatever you want to call it, the um, European community, for want of a better term. Uh, there are massive inequalities that 
that no government really seems to be able to fix, uh, which is a shame. Mum did an acknowledgement of country at your dad's memorial. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's more about recognising what's happened in the past and making sure that, like I said before, making sure that people in the future can learn from that and you know, even now, like, like I was saying, and as, um, as Tilly's pointed out, that, you know, things need to change for the better for the Indigenous community as a whole, and the government is who is responsible for that, and, uh, you know, we can do our bit by, by acknowledging what's happened, just in, even in our small ways, like I have done there in the About Me section, so it's just making sure that uh, you know, I'm acknowledging that there were people here on this land before me and they were the ones who were actually, they belonged to the land and they were here for a very, very long time before us, before the European settlement. So not, not quite a pledge of allegiance, not quite the same thing. Yeah, it brings awareness of uh, whose land I'm operating on and where I live as well, right? Like, I, I live here as well. And, uh, yes, this property is owned by someone in the European sense, um, but it did belong to someone before that. And that someone or those those people, the Eora people, didn't really get any say in what happened to the land at that point, uh, which is probably, you know that's happened all over Australia. All over the world, really. There's a lot of uh, indigenous uh, folks that have really suffered along throughout all of, all of time, so. Uh, but yeah, it's a huge area. The Eora people, yeah. Uh, there are different, uh, is it, do they call themselves tribes? I can't remember. I think, think they kind of do, but they, they do split further down from the Eora people into smaller, uh, smaller, uh, groups, but obviously I can't go too specific or I would be completely doxing myself because the smaller groups are generally, uh, like what we might consider these days suburbs rather than larger spaces. So yeah, I don't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to go too specific about where I, uh, exactly whose lands I was on, but the Eora people is, like I said, Greater Sydney. Uh, is where the Eora people uh, consider themselves. And at the moment as well, uh, in Australia, we're, we're dealing with um, a, a referendum, which is uh, changing our constitution to recognise the Indigenous people and ensure that the Indigenous people have more of a, a say about what is uh, happening in their country. Uh, so that's something that everyone will be talking quite a, a lot about uh, over the next... or well, they already are talking a lot about it, right? So, yeah, it's something that's uh, quite prevalent, especially at the moment, uh, in terms of... Uh, what what rights the indigenous folks should have and all of that type of stuff. Thank all of you for assisting uh, you in learning more. No, no worries. Like I said, I'm always happy to um, apparently have a lot to learn. Well, a lot of people do, Jace. You, you're not the only one. And the fact that you can recognize that is probably the most important thing as well. Because um, a lot of people even now, even now in this country will think they know everything. Uh, when in actual case, we've all got a lot to learn all the time, really, don't we? So, but yeah, like I said, I'm always happy to, to chat about uh, anything. I would put it there for a reason. Uh, so, yeah, happy to explain it. That rock was quite close. Uh, if it's something Skylines related, you can definitely try and help. I mean, I don't know if there were indigenous people in this in Cooper County. <laughs> uh, maybe not. 
but I didn't see anyone here before I started building, but that doesn't mean they weren't here. No one is using it. Great. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. What what are they doing? Oh, they're moving. Oh, they're probably exporting it, right? They're exporting it to the um the ship area. The ship area. Yep. Yeah. Great. I should name. Uh, I was gonna name it, but I don't know if these names will stick. No, uh, Shane. It's more about uh, like the indigenous culture and all that type of stuff. So it's not necessarily skylines related. Indigenous culture in Australia. I love how I uh, can talk about it in a calm voice. You get so angry when uh, our colonial history is brought up. Um, hate that I'm distantly, but not distantly enough related <laughs> to all of them. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things where, I mean, I find that, especially talking to someone about it from outside of Australia, because they don't have that same understanding of it all than what we do. Because a lot of, even at my age, we were taught about it, a little bit about it in school. But it certainly wasn't, as much as what it probably should have been uh, because yeah some of the the stuff that happened back then to the indigenous uh, communities that lived here was pretty horrendous uh, and generally in culture uh, these days it's that 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 saying right that um, it's the it's the people who win the war in adverted commas that are generally the ones that write the history books which means you get a skewed version of what the history actually was so and what then ultimately happens is that's what the kids get taught at school so the skewed version of history is what we were all taught at school but that is slowly changing um over over time uh thanks to things like uh you know the voice conversation and all of that the voice is the referendum that we're having soon so it's the indigenous voice to parliament so yeah slowly things are changing uh to the good and things are becoming a little bit more uh honest the conversation is becoming more honest uh, i was glossed over in school the brutality of the invasion was never taught in history lessons yeah which is kind of what i'm getting at right like they certainly when i was at school as well uh, they didn't, th they said that there was, you know, they said that the colonists came to the country. Uh, they said that there was disputes, but as uh, Cleepore has said there, the, the brutality wasn't really spoken about. Uh, and that's because it would put the colonists and the European people in general in a bad light and that's not the way that it was seen to be done back then but nowadays it, it is changing i think it's uh things are becoming a lot more honest the conversation is more honest and people can find out more easily about things as well by going online and all of that type of stuff so things are moving in the right direction the equality between the indigenous community and the rest of the community in australia is still not going great uh but steps like this and steps like all of us recognizing what has happened in the past and all of that is certainly a step in the right direction, I think. But yeah, it is frustrating when people don't acknowledge what's happened in the past. Very frustrating. I wonder why I recurred this building. Can I unreco it? <laughs> I suppose I have to just delete it, right? And place it again. We are, like, bleeding money, like, ridiculous amounts of money now. Not really sure how or why. Oh, I probably recode it so that the hotel had commercial near it, did I? Yeah. Okay. 
We'll put more commercial in. I think it's better as a... Oh, it's a Rico... It's a Rico building. Anyway. Okay, that's weird. I don't know if it's helped anyway. <laughs> I guess we'll come back to that. Okay, this traffic is uh, manageable now. It's not perfect, but I think it's better than it was. It's the two traffic lights right next to each other that don't help. Yeah, this is heaps better than it was. What are you missing? Oh, you're not enough special goods. But you've got... Oh, you must need more than one tons, I suppose. Plain timber. Plain timber is a problem for us, huh? What have we got going on over here? These ones are still... Oh, it's because there's traffic here? Is that what's causing this problem? Why... Why? <laughs> Why is there so much traffic on this little side street? It's confusing me. Uh, Red Chirper icon made me think uh, a building was on fire for a moment. That's the anarchy. Uh, anarchy mod means it's switched on when it's when it's fiery like that. Uh, I wonder if having uh, I might have to upgrade this road to be, or is that? Is that tractor just stuck there, is it? Is that what's causing the problem? It's going backwards. <laughs> uh, I'm going to upgrade the road to a asymmetric road. Let's see if that helps. Fireworks going off over there. Oh no, it's not broken. Is this broken? No, that's okay as well. Okay, there's this weirdness going on there. I don't know why all of these are coming out all at the same time. And I don't know why all of a sudden we've got all these traffic issues. <laughs> 72. It's not ideal. It was pushing up towards 75 pretty regularly before that. Hmm, need to be a traffic light here. Uh, you've been MIA for a bit, but guess what? What? I uh, just want to say thank you again for explaining that. feel like there is so much uh, more to the discussion, and we'll be reading up on it today. There is a lot more. There's a lot more to it. Uh, yeah, we, I ba we basically explained the gist of it to you there, but yeah. And again, that's fine. Um, I heard about it before, but never saw it IRL. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to it, and a lot of it's hard to read as well, like, I, I find that anyway, like, it's it's hard to hear about what actually happened back then, but uh, obviously that, if, if it's affecting me that way, it means that, that I care about what happened, and yeah, like I said, we want to make it right, the best that we can as individuals. The dragon is dead, nice, congratulations. Have you got wings yet though, Quiche? Are you flying into all sorts of things <laughs> and dying because you're flying into all sorts of things? <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden this has become a problem over here. I mean, it's still uh, running, I suppose. 
it's all these industrial areas have all, all of a sudden decided that they're going to chuck out a whole bunch of traffic everywhere. Is it because they've delivered stuff over here and then... Because they can go to there, which can go to there, which can head out over here. Yeah, it's not really quite the same area, is it? Uh, we aren't doing the other bit yet, you don't think. <laughs> Going out to the end cities. <laughs> now the traffic looks like yours. <laughs> it is moving though, that's the important thing. It's moving. Hopefully this is all set up appropriately as well, which will help things flow. Yeah, it is. Okay. I almost feel like having a third lane in the exit here. But they are all mostly going left. It seems to be clearing already, actually. Yeah, this road is a bit clearer, although not really. That needs to be fixed as well. You can queue through there, that's fine. But yeah, these are struggling because the trucks are all in use. They can't get out. Which could be partly what's costing us money, to be honest. Because if these are just sat here costing us... Uh, oh, 15 a week. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> so I was going to say, if they're costing us like hundreds a week, and there's multiple of them, but yeah, probably not. It's probably not too much of a problem. Now, I came over here to check on our wood situation do you know when you're going uh, 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 for the dragon uh, for the elytra then quiche and did you die fighting the dragon or were you victorious without fighting or uh, without dying because I'm very bad at staying alive when I'm fighting the dragon <laughs> which is why I'll probably I'll either never get to that point in hardcore because I'll die, I will have died already, or I just won't be able to because I'll be so petrified of dying. Even got heaps of dragon's breath, and you didn't die. Well, you're better than me then, clearly. Well done though, well done. Didn't die. Did, you were actually fighting them. You weren't just watching Troy fight the dragon, were you? <laughs> just, just asking for no real reason. Because <laughs> I know that did occur in, in another situation. <laughs> Uh, and there were so many Endermen, more than you have seen in the photos. <laughs> yeah. You had the pumpkin on, though, didn't you? You had the pumpkin on. <laughs> <laughs> you were fighting and helping a lot. Okay, good. I mean, I was... And Tilly, Tilly can confirm how terrible I am at dragon fighting. But yeah, I was helping a lot, too, when, it, when we were doing it on our server. But I also died a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Dying isn't as helpful as just fighting. Ah, that's one, one unit off there. Doesn't quite feel like this is an appropriate place to be building these. Uh, you ended up putting the pumpkin on. I think that's reasonable to put the pumpkin on. I, I find that uh, Enderman like to look me directly in the face constantly so it's not it's not really my fault when they do that seem to know everyone in your streams but uh have you ever told yeah your wife's name is stephanie or steph yeah i met her a few times in your stream yes cleepaw got it right too And I didn't see Cleepaw's comment before I said mine either. <laughs> before you all accused me of that. 
<laughs> uh, but my dying, distracting the dragon was helping me do the killing. Yeah, okay, well, I'm glad I could help <laughs> in some terrible way. <laughs> Uh, here is a brain buster for me. Uh, do I know your real name? Well, I'm assuming that since you asked me that, it's not Jace. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. Is Jace uh, short for something? Ooh. I'd assume that Jace is short for something. If, if uh, that's the case. Jason. Yeah, that would make sense. That'd make a lot of sense. Oh, thanks Streamlabs for um, spamming again. Could be a trick question. Yeah, it kind of was, wasn't it? Oh, hello Sky. Yeah, Jason makes a lot of sense. Jace. Okay, yeah, these trees. I mean, I don't know why you can't, you couldn't plant trees like that you're growing to be chopped down on a hilly area. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, which is why I'm quite happy to use anarchy to fit these in. that road just out a little bit uh forestry is weird you have to replace the actual trees with tree farms yeah that's true it is strange isn't it and the other strange thing about it is that unless there are already trees there it thinks that you can't dr grow trees there which is also kind of weird right <laughs> like for example here let's go into this mode yeah here it reckons that you just can't plant trees here because there are currently no trees there. Whereas over here, where there are trees, this is obviously very, very fertile. And I can see why it could be kind of fertile in some areas, but not others. But in, with that distance apart, it would surely be just as fertile. <laughs> it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, that mechanic. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, uh, look at your twin brother. Call him Jerry, uh, but his real name doesn't have a J in it. Okay. Uh, can I get away with just this? Uh, I could tell you your last name, but uh, I'm not going to dox you further. <laughs> your brother might have a big mouth. <laughs> he does have a big mouth. I dox myself uh, and Klee on Discord. Well, kind of. Just first name. But I'd, everyone knew my first name anyway, didn't they? Because it's, the, it's on the server. It's on the Bedrock server. And I think Jace asked me my real name one time on stream too. So... Uh, father, brother, and nephew all go by Jerry, but all three are named Gerard. Oh, yeah. I knew a Gerard. What did, did he call himself Gerard? Jed, he called himself Jed. J-E-D, he spelt it. Uh, Gerard. Gerard? Gerard. I think he liked to be called Gerard, but yeah, he, he went by Jed. Uh, they didn't know yours. Uh, Tilly did, but no one else did. Yeah, it's just the first name, though. It's not like it's a super unusual name like Quiche. Who would ever dox themselves by telling someone their real name if it was Quiche? <laughs> She's probably not even listening. She's probably fighting shulkers or something. You weren't even playing it to paying attention, so you missed it. 
<laughs> I thought you probably were. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, we I think we fixed the traffic. We'll probably have to finish up. I think. I think this traffic just comes and goes there. How's this going? Uh, this is still about the same, or perhaps even worse. Uh, the thing is, I don't understand what's changed here. It seems to be the roundabout that's causing the problem. But I haven't adjusted the roundabout for ages, so. Yeah, I don't understand. Be good to get rid of this intersection, wouldn't it? Is it going to be possible to do that? That's a path. We could change that into a road. I mean, it's just going to push the traffic out here, though. But yeah, I feel like that's potentially slowing things down a little bit. I'll try it. Let's see. Oh, is that on that road, is it? No, it's not. Don't know why it hasn't complained that it doesn't have a road yet. Hasn't realized. Oh, there's the sky again. I mean, that hasn't made anything terribly horrendous. Some of them are actually finding alternate routes as well, which is even better. Or did some of them despawn? They might have despawned when I deleted roads. So how many of them are going straight then? Maybe the three lane... Yeah, a lot of them are going straight actually. Oh, we'll sh chuck a three-lane highway in here as well. Split them all off a little bit better. And then, yeah, finish it up. Were there traffic lights there before? Pretty sure there were, weren't there? Or not? Because that looks very dangerous now. That That's a Ren intersection there, right? <laughs> that looks like a Ren intersection now. I can't remember if there were traffic lights there or not, though. <laughs> you're just typing looks like your roads, yeah. I feel like traffic lights here might be a good idea. That didn't work. Why did that not work? There we go. Reading some dev notes about City Skylines 2 and there will be car accidents. Now you're scared. Yeah, there will be. The mechanic's interesting though. It's not... You won't get traffic lights... Uh, you won't get collisions rather or car accidents at intersections. It's... Lo they're more likely to just happen kind of randomly which yeah is interesting so it'll be interesting to see where this mechanic how that mechanic works oh no look at this mess now uh looks like one that will weed out the weak yeah this maybe should be a roundabout this could even be a roundabout, actually. Because that three, the three-lane thing there has clear... It might actually clear up. I'm not going to panic about this, because now this is flowing much better. This will flow better. And, yeah, that might... It might sort itself out with that traffic light. 
So I will be, uh, I won't be reactive towards that. What's going on here? Is that... Okay. No, they all just want to go right. Uh, left, even. They seem to be managing without traffic lights. They were managing to run into each other a lot <laughs> without the traffic lights. Uh, this should be dedicated lanes here as well. Yeah. Oh, it's, maybe it's not working. Well, I'm not going to be able to fix that now, because, yeah, we do have to finish, so... We are getting a lot of issues with people... Yeah, these trucks not coming back in time. And what are these saying? They don't have enough uh, raw materials? Yeah, because they're not able to get those delivered appropriately. Maybe that was part of it. I added a whole bunch of stuff here, didn't I? We could have a dedicated bridge going across here for the oil industry. That would be something that the oil industry would do. Because then they can transport the oil from here directly across to their plants over here. Let's just quickly do that before we finish. High speed police chases. Yeah, I don't think that's coming to the game. Unfortunately, I agree. I think it would be, would be kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, apparently not going to happen. Now, do these fishing boats go under? Not quite. Shame I can't get that bridge in the middle more, isn't it? But I think that's the best that we're going to do. It's a shame that's what it is as well, but... Oh, this traffic's getting worse. Okay, I better finish before I start really getting into this. The traffic light hasn't really worked. So I think that we're probably going to have to put a roundabout there. But we won't do that tonight. We will do that next time. And for now, we'll go over to the other side of the city where the traffic is fine and we'll pretend that that's not happening and we'll finish over here. <laughs> oh, Toby, just in time to finish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a problem for future odds. No need to worry about that now. How are you doing though, Toppy? Hope you're doing well, uh, regardless. And, uh, yeah, hope you're, hope you're having a good one. Let's see. Uh, you're okay today, thanks. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, can't be any high-speed police chases in this town. Look at the traffic. <laughs> that, the traffic isn't that bad, right? It's still 70-something, right? 70. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> 70 is more than acceptable. I think. 70 is, yeah, okay. <laughs> I used to aim for 80, but apparently, apparently that's not a thing. Uh, okay, well, who, who is on here? Hmm. Let's open up the city's thing. <laughs> it's fine, I say reluctantly. 
Yeah, I need the... Where's the... Oh, no. Channel. Oh, I don't know how this uh, OBS emote thing works sometimes. It's very confusing. Perhaps, uh, where is it? There's a few of these actually that work quite well. It's fine. <laughs> Dream is on, yeah. Should we go and say hi to Dream? Yeah, I don't know anyone else. All right, we'll go and say hi to Dream. Catfire, the perfect representative <laughs> of the traffic situation, yeah. I don't have a fine emote yet. Uh, but yeah, there's certainly, there's certainly scope for that in this channel. <laughs> Everything is usually on fire, figuratively, whether it's something breaking tech wise or yeah, who knows? Who knows? All right. Well, I hope, uh, everyone, yeah, that they're not like this. I, that's one of my favorite emotes actually. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone uh, has has enjoyed, and uh, it's been a nice chill time. And we'll go and say hi to Dream. See what Dream's up to. Who was hanging out here earlier, actually. Uh, and yeah, we'll be back. Of course, we'll be back tomorrow with with Keish. Uh, so for those of you who who weren't aware. Uh, we'll be popping into Keisha's celebration stream uh, tomorrow night, and um, yeah, doing a bit of bit of Minecraft bingo, which is going to be fun. So yeah, that's going to be super exciting. So anyone who is able to pop in for that, it'll be the regular time, 8 p.m. Australian Eastern time. Uh, but Keish herself is uh, starting at four, so yeah, pop into to Keisha's channel. Uh, for that, uh, you should actually, Keish, you should give yourself a shout out so that people can, <laughs> so that people can find you. If I uh, hope, I would kind of hope that most people are already following you anyway. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, give yourself a shout out so that people can find you. Four four p.m. Australian Eastern Time is when Keish will be starting her twelve hour celebration stream, and we'll be popping into her stream at around about eight o'clock. Uh, so I hope to see everyone then, and thanks, Ren. <laughs> it seemed a bit weird to... Uh, shit, we got two shout-outs, nice. Oh, you got in trouble. Streamlabs got you in trouble, Quiche, because you shouted out yourself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go and see what Dream's up to. I should have been lurking in, Dream, in Dream's uh, thing, actually, shouldn't I? Has it got an underscore? It does, but it still pulled it up. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone's enjoyed uh, tonight and I will hope to see you all tomorrow at 8pm and yeah, um, it's been a nice chill one. Uh, thanks, uh, yeah, thank you to Kleepor for those two gifted subs to Jace and Jen, uh, really appreciate those. Uh, thank you for the raid uh, Beltron, I really appreciate that as well. And what else do we have? The follows. Thank you, Jen, for the follow. And thank you, Beltron, for the follow. Uh, thanks, everyone, as well, for all of the redeems. Uh, I appreciate all of the lurkers. I appreciate all of the chatters and everyone else. Uh, and, yeah, I uh, hope that everyone's enjoyed their time here. Uh, haven't seen the raid message yet. Uh, we're going to Dream Aesthetic. Is anyone able to get their, their link up? I don't have him up. Uh, 
I could probably pull him up quickly if someone can't get there. Uh, but yeah, uh, Dream Aesthetic, he was in the, the channel earlier, actually. Oh, hang on. Did I? Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Ren. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone uh, is going to pop by tomorrow. And I thanks all for hanging out. And I will see you all very soon. Take care.